So first I will focus on emotional distress, what this is. Um, this is a mixture of feelings and uh, it was named by Jamie Holland who was a pioneer in psycho-oncology and describes the um, emotions that patients experience when they are confronted with the diagnosis of cancer in general. Um, then uh, through the talk we will focus on how to assess distress severity. Then we will look for determinants of distress severity and finally on psycho-oncological care needs for our patients with skin cancer. So first um, concerning emotional distress, it is important to mention that um, these emotional problems not only affects the patients, it also also the family members. We know that um, the spouses or partners of patients are as distressed as the patient itself or even more distressed than the individual with cancer. Uh, and we know that uh, we have to take special care about the kids. So if a patient um, has cancer, uh, if a parent has cancer, uh, this is a very a difficult situation for the children because there's a huge change in social roles at home and um, you know they are kids so they want to be kids and on the other hand parents often want to not to know let the children know that they are sick so this will be a major part of the discussion about emotional distress. Then in the second uh, about measuring, uh, measuring distress severity it is important because if we don't identify the patients, um, we know that this is related to really high levels of distress and this produce uh, a negative impact, impact uh, at the treatment outcome. It goes along with the decrease in health quality of life and of course with high costs um, in the health system. Uh, there are different kinds to measure emotional distress. Um, you can ask the patient how he feels and the spouse, of course. Um, you can do semi-structured interviews or you can ask the patient to fill in um, like a um, patient self-report instrument. And um, an instrument that is widely used is the distress thermometer, which was also developed by the work group of Jamie Holland. Jamie Holland. Um, yeah, and then we will talk about what it means, so um, what if the patient circles two this means and if the patient circles nine that means and recommendation for the physicians. And then we will move on to the determinants um, on um, distress severity, which means uh, what are the factors um, that uh, influence the coping with the, with the disease and there are clinical factors important uh, as well as demographic factors as well as psychological factors. So uh, it is well known that patients who have for example a very withdrawn personality or if they experience um, psychological problems or mental problems in the past so they are on higher risk. Uh, but we also know with the recent studies that the clinical data like the disease and treatment related factors doesn't even play such an important role in the experience of distress. Yeah, and then finally we will look about how we can support our patients concerning these findings and what is the, um, the rule of the doctor or the, um, what, the do what should the physician recommend for the patient.